So it is the night before I am going to do um, my the Good and the Beautiful Science lesson with my kids. And I just go ahead and do the preparation work and gather my supplies in a little basket the night before we're gonna do a science lesson. It takes me all of five minutes and then we're just prepared to do our lesson. Good morning, you guys. So it is a cloudy Thursday morning and we are going to jump into our science for our homeschool. As most of you know, we have recently changed over curriculum for our science and we are now using the good and the beautiful. Uh, we are studying the human body. And um, so I just wanted to show you guys exactly how a lesson is done in our house. Now, of course, every homeschooling mom is going to utilize the materials differently, but I'm just gonna show you what I do. This is how we do our science lessons and I'm gonna take you step by step through our morning here, Thursday, cloudy, cloudy November morning, and um, we are just gonna do our science. So come along. So as you guys have seen, I did all of my prep work the night before. Um, so my first step for our science lesson today is going to be reading this portion to my kids. Part of our body is the skeleton system, the skeletal system. So by looking at this picture, what do you think the skeletal system is? Your bones. Your, skeleton. your bones. Your skeleton. So feel along your arms. Do you feel something hard inside there? Yeah. yeah. I can't even squish it. What do you feel? I bone. I don't even feel it. Go right on the side right here. I feel bone. Feel that? Yeah, I feel bone, Mom. That is your bone. Feel your knees and legs. God had a reason for our skeletal system so that way we can work properly instead of just lie there. Like be able to move? Yeah. Why do you think, Kayla? Because it helps your body move and not just lay down. Yeah. Why do you think we have bones, Libby? For a, like we can live and because because we would be floppy if we had no bones. Yeah, we wouldn't be able to do anything. So you're, those are all really good reasons. But our Okay, so as you guys have just seen, we did complete this and we went off into discussion, of course, more than just what is here. Now we're on to the science wall portion. So we're gonna add um, bones to our science wall. I've shown you our science wall in other videos. I will link those in the description box if you wanna check it out. But we're gonna go ahead now and move on to adding that word on our wall. That gives structure, protection, support inside a physical body and form a skeleton. So we're gonna put this up here. Peel me a piece of tape. Here, hold it for me and I'll pull it off. Okay, so this is bones. You guys see the words from last, from up your other lessons too. System, organ, and cells. Good. So now we've added up bones and it tells us again what our bones are purpose for, okay? So we're using Play-Doh to, to make a human body without bones or legs. See, so, so this is like where the ribs and stomach are. These are arms and this is his head. Good job. Okay guys, so now we're gonna do a little test. So you guys all made your, Caleb, don't draw on the Play-Doh. You all made your, your human body outline, right? Yeah. Okay, I want you to try to stand it up on its own. Oh boy. Try to stand it up. <laughs> what happens? <laughs> <laughs> it falls over. Okay, his head. <laughs> oh no, his head fell backwards. Oh, <laughs> okay, so he's that, apart. he's ripping apart. What do you guys notice? He's not holding together. He is not bones. holding together. He because bones. he doesn't have what? What did you say? Bones. 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 No bones. So that is going to be the next part of our experiment. You have four crayons on your paper, right? Mm -hmm. So now what you're going to do is you're going to build him, but these are going to represent his bones, and you're going to wrap the Play-Doh around the crayons. And when you're done, we're going to try to stand it up and see what happens. 
so this Play-Doh, this guy whose head just fell backwards and yours split in half, and this is, what, so good. is what your body would be like without bones. This guy's still so good. So try to put your crayons oh, inside. Oh, oh, oh. But mine is the only one with bandage. That's because it's kind of in the shape of a snowman <laughs> instead of a human. Okay, so use your crayons and try to wrap it up. And look what happened to his neck. No, you don't have to stick them in like that, buddy. <laughs> you can wrap the Play-Doh around it. Oh, okay. like this? Yeah, like peel the Play-Doh off. Can you have legs with them? No legs, only four crayons. So like this? <laughs> so like this? So maybe like, like this. Yeah, so take the Play-Doh like this. You okay. killed it. And then go like this. Okay. Okay. So I just need to rebuild him. Yeah, it's not gonna look like a like necessarily like a real human body, but it's just to represent the skeletal system, the it's, bones. It's inside. actually just for fun. Okay, so try to build your body now with the bones. Okay, so what did you do with this now? I put the crayons through the play-doh for its bones, and now it's more stiff than it was. Good. Can you stand it up? Better. Better. Ah, Good job. The last part of our science lesson today is going to be basically um, what could go in your, I think they call it your science journal. Um, sometimes I do make individual copies for each of my kids, but today um, we're just going to go ahead and do it as a group. So we have um, a, a skeleton with printouts that was of course included in our curriculum and we're just gonna work as a group to label some of these bones. Okay, well I wanna do this as a group. So I have all the parts right here. Some bones, some bone names. So some of them you guys already know, but so. some of them you don't know. Okay, so these are all the names. So we have rib cage, ulna, pelvis, radius, patella, femur, humerus, fibula, skull, spine, and tibia. Do you know all those bones? I no. know some. I know. I think I, think I know Elvis. more than don't know. I okay, don't know. so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna read you a clue of the bone, and then once you hear the clue, you're gonna determine where, what one you think it is, and we're gonna glue it on our skeleton. No, we don't say that. Yeah, we're gonna say it out loud, but we're gonna take turns. So everyone's gonna get a chance, okay? Okay, in circle. Yeah, I'll start with Lance. These clues to the kids, they're all ready. And you guys actually don't need your pencils. And I'm gonna read the clues and we're gonna take turns labeling Mr. Skeleton. So where do you think that is on the skeleton? Outside, so here. So it should go there. Here. This one says Ulna. Flip it over. Put it. Okay, flip it over. Mr. Skeleton doesn't. So we have now finished labeling our skeletal system chart together. We're going to hang this up in our schoolroom so we can have a visual of what we've been learning. And this is going to complete um, our science lesson for today. Um, using our good and the beautiful uh, human body science curriculum. Did you guys have fun? Yes. yes. Do you like it? Yes. What was your favorite part? The Play-Doh. Play-Doh. Play-Doh? Play-Doh. Molding the figure. Cool.